Hi, I'm RJ, living for the moments live from our beautiful Florida with the one and only Winter Dragon Cosplay. How are you doing? I'm doing really well, thank you. <laughs> well, to start off, tell us a little about yourself, who you are, where you're from, and what cosplays do you do? Uh, well, I'm Winter Dragon Cosplay, uh, Summer Winters on Facebook. Uh, I'm 20 years old, actually going to be 21 here soon in the next few months. And I started cosplay about a year ago, so I'm still kind of new to it, but I'm really enjoying it and uh, hoping to get further along before, I, before I'm into it. So Awesome. Now, what cosplayers are you known for? I would say probably Princess Katana from Mortal Kombat, the most recent game, MK9, and uh, Zaytana, Zaytana Zaytara from the DC Comics. Awesome. What is your favorite cosplay to do? I really do enjoy cosplaying uh, Princess Katana uh, just because the entire costume and props were all made by hand. The costume I was helped out a lot with. Uh, one of my friends, she did all the sewing, uh, the detail work, but as far as the fans and all the painting, the ornamentation, that was, uh, that was all my work. Awesome. Now, speaking of making, do you do you make your own products, or do you like do you buy do you buy products, or do you alter products? Like, you make. Well, um, when I was first starting out, it was much easier to buy already made costumes and just uh, have them altered. Now, though, the more I'm getting into it, the more I want to be able to make my own cosplays, and it's just a little bit of an issue saying, you know, yes, I made this, you know, so you feel a little bit more proud of it. Um, sometimes I do co uh, closet cosplays where I kind of just take things that are in my closet or find things and alter them myself to make them a little bit more uh, like a particular character that I want to cosplay. Awesome. Now, um, your cosplays, do you prefer to cosplay comics or video games or anime? Like, what do you, what, what, what genre do you prefer? Um, actually, I would have to say I don't really have a preference. At first, I started out with uh, cosplaying anime, but now I've gotten more into uh, video games and comic books. And honestly, as long as I can uh, find a connection to a character, I'll basically cosplay anything. Awesome. Now, um, what was my next question? I forgot my question. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted by our beautiful scenery in this interview, but... Yes, it's absolutely gorgeous day out here. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, now, if you could take any cosplayer to lunch, who would you take? <laughs> um, oh, gosh. See, now this is a tough one, okay? Um, hands down, it's actually a tie between two people. I would uh, take Miss Sinister. Sinister cosplay out to lunch, or quite possibly a uh, Mickey Jagger. <laughs> and what would y'all talk about? Um, or would you just drool over them? Well, I mean, there would be. I don't know. I I prefer to keep my saliva to myself, <laughs> but I would probably ask a uh, Mickey Jagger kind of, um, you know, why he went into uh, EMT and why he's training for that, and kind of where cosplay fit into that or how he's able to work with both and gosh Miss Sinister I would uh, I really don't know what we talk about I'm just a huge fan of hers um, I would probably ask her how she makes her costumes or you know what uh, processes she goes into in uh, planning them how long she's been doing it all right uh, you, you attend conventions correct that's correct what is your convention lineup That's next weekend, I believe. Uh, I'll be going to. Let's see, this is a little <laughs> tough to say whether I want to go to this one or if I'll be able to go to this one, because I'll be starting college up in about three weeks from now, and the very first week, going back to school and classes and everything like that, it's my last year, so I want to make sure that I've got all my credits and everything in order. But the weekend after my first week is Dragon Con. I would really, really like to go to that one. Uh, I'll know for sure the closer it gets. Um, aside from that though, I'll be
be going to AWA and I will be going to Fandom Con in November. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, what is what is your favorite part of cosplay? My favorite part of my favorite part of cosplay really is to just have fun and make new friends and kind of uh, not be afraid to be a nerd and <laughs> just you know go out and be whatever character you want to be, whichever character you like, and uh, express your love for that. Awesome. What is the hardest part of cosplay? <sighs> hardest part of cosplay. Uh, <coughs> Trying to figure out who's a girl and who's a boy. <laughs> I mean, there are some really good crossplayers out there, and I envy them so much. I mean, it's it would be a little tough for me to uh, crossplay, yeah, just just a little bit. Um, but aside from that, I don't know. There's there's a couple of judgmental people out there, like elitists, and uh, I mean, I can understand, you know, wanting to look the part, being good as you can be at representing a character, but when you start to exclude other cosplayers and like, shame them for not being as good or not looking like the character, that's where I have to draw the line. Very good. Alright, what advice could you give to a beginner cosplayer that they're just getting into cosplay? Um, I would say start off slow. Simple design, simple characters, like, you know, just... Pokemon, uh, Digimon, Adventure Time, just simple cosplays like that, kind of get into it slowly and work your way up. If you're making your own costumes, it is better to start with a simpler design and just get comfortable, you know, with your sewing machine and making your own costumes and go more for detailed work after that. Awesome. All right, big question here for you. Assuming time and money were not an issue, and you could make it, um, what cosplay would you make? Oh, goodness. Um, hmm. I would probably have to say, I know it almost defies the laws of physics, but I would like to cosplay uh, Ryuka Matoi's final version of Senketsu Kisaragi, or Fashion Week. It's very, very over the top, and it's uh, quite revealing too. So it would push not only my fabrication skills, but also my uh, my self confidence. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of self, like this revealing, your cosplays you have planned for Paracon. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard a little bit about them, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I know. I, what character? What I keep on top of my head, the one that's like. Basically, looks like she has this stuff wrapped yeah, around. Um, I'm going to be cosplaying for Paracon, Princess Katana from MK9, uh, and I'm also going to be cosplaying Melina from MK9. But it's not the traditional pink suit. It's actually the uh, the Flesh Pits Melina, where she's her first appearance in the game. And she's just got like bandages of cloth just barely wrapped around her. I'm going a little bit more. Um, modest for that so I'm gonna be wearing a few more bandages than just one <laughs> oh, awesome. but that, that definitely uh, I'm very nervous about that one awesome. so are you, are you having to step out of your comfort zone for this absolutely and I'm hoping that it'll be uh, well received awesome well I'll look forward to see it all right do you have anything do you want to say you, you've newly started your, your your page and you're close to 2,000 likes yes do you, does, do you want to say anything to the fans and followers on the page? Um, just, wow, like, thank you guys, dude, just freaking awesome, man, I don't think I've had this page up for even, like, a month or so, but I've already gotten so many uh, followers and fans, just, like, I'm just, I'm really thankful for you guys, and just, really, all the support means so, so much, and just, Oh, I want to hug all of you. <laughs> Tell you that you're great. <laughs> you have any shout outs or thank yous? <sighs> Let's see. Shout outs, uh, thank yous. Um, well, obviously, thank you to Living for the Moments. Uh, RJ, you are absolutely wonderful. Um, hmm. Any other shout outs? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've never done this before, so. Um, I guess just any of my uh, cosplay idols, really. Um, 
I look up to Cassian cosplay, uh, Miss Sinister. Uh, I just, I don't know, they really inspire me and uh, make me want to push myself to do even better cosplays and hopefully one day meet them. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, uh, I guess so, yeah. Um, cosplay really is um, it's just for fun, you know. Um, that's why I got into it. I wanted to have fun, uh, express my love for characters, and, uh, you know, everyone just... When you're at a convention, do your part to stay safe, be respectful to everyone, and uh, have a good time. And no trolling. No, no trolling. Um, and definitely, um, at least not around here, I would hope, none of the behavior that took place this past weekend at San Diego Comic Con. But, however, uh, things have been done about that. It's all resolved, hopefully. And, uh, well, it's just... Uh, with cosplay becoming more and more popular, at least, you know, being more out there amongst the media, uh, it kind of invites not so, um, it just, you just, just be careful, really. Be careful, have fun, and, uh, yeah. Awesome. All right, thank you so much, Summer. I'm RJ from Living for the Moments, and this is... Winter Dragon Cosplay. Signing off till next time, and remember, keep calm and cosplay, and cosplay on. on.